Hey guys, it's Sandy here. So I literally just got home from my fitness studio. I was wearing a ball cap today because I didn't want to do anything with my hair <laughs> before going and training clients. So I literally just took my ball cap off. I thought about what I wanted to do for this video. And whenever these ideas come in my mind, I just have to go with them. They have, for me, it's authentic. <laughs> it's English, right? It's more authentic if I hit it right when I think about it. I just, I have to do it right away. So, I bet you I caught your attention when I put, do you talk to strangers? I know I do. Who else is on here? You know, we just had a Shakeology Shake and Share party this Saturday. That's probably why I'm having difficulty with the English language today as well. <laughs> We're still recovering, I think. It was a great party. Great people, helping people get fit and healthy. Then on Sunday, we just vegged out and relaxed and here it is Monday. Who's on? Hey, Lisa, how's it going? I'm talking about talking to strangers. I know, this is crazy, especially when you have kids and you're always telling them don't talk to strangers. So guys, um, I like to go to Tim Hortons on the weekends and apparently I like to go in my pajamas because I posted a picture of me in my polka dot pajamas, heading to Tim's on, I don't know if it was Saturday morning or Sunday morning. Hey, Sean, do you go to Tim's in your pajamas? <laughs> You're not gonna tell us, right? Okay, so my point is talking to strangers and basically just caring about people. And um, so I went to Tim's, went through the drive-through. Hey, thanks for the thumbs up. And here's the thing. I know the girls at the drive-thru. They know that I come by every weekend and they know that I usually bring my refill mugs. This is what I mean about getting to know people. And really, I mean, you can go through a drive-thru, you can stand in the Walmart line, you can stand in the grocery line and not talk to those people serving you, but really, you know what? They're not robots. They're not there to serve you. That's, that's their job, that's their career. But you know what? So many people, don't interact. We get so stuck in our worlds, like, you know, we get so closed off that we don't even interact to this human being that's actually handing you something. Right, Sean? That would not be good. Oh, Sean says, no, wearing his pajamas to the Tim's drive through would not be good. But I figure, hey, they can't see what I'm wearing. Right, Lisa? I don't know. Maybe Lisa's a Starbucks girl, maybe not Tim's. I don't know. Maybe both. <laughs> Anyways, my point is, I know these girls. I know them by name. They know me, and it's just from the Tim's drive through I know that this girl is just back after maternity leave. She just had a baby. She's so excited to talk about her baby as she's handing me my refill mugs, like, you know, or on days when I forget them, she's like, where are your refill mugs? And I just think to myself, you know what? We could just be going through these drive throughs and we could just be standing in the Walmart lines and be at the grocery store, Sobeys, Safeway, wherever you're going. I'm not trying to promote these places. I'm just saying that those people that are handing you your coffee, those people that are running your groceries through bagging them, they are people. And you know what? My whole world is caring about people every single day. From the time I get up to the time I go to bed, I am helping people all the time, right? Oh, and if you missed it at the beginning, my hair is flat like this because I literally just got home from training people at the studio. <laughs> and uh, thanks for the thumbs up and the love. And I literally just took my ball cap off and decided I wanna do this video about A, caring for people. And it really, yeah, it does involve talking to strangers. But the whole point is, you know what? We're all in this thing called life together, okay? You have bad days, you have good days. But I find that for some reason, People think it's okay to ignore these people behind the counter that are running your groceries through, that are handing you stuff. And you know what? It's, it's not right. Like I said, they are not robots. They are people and you can get to know them. And like we've been living in this area. We're you know, over here in Riverbend, for those of you that live in Winnipeg. We're in Riverbend. It's a great little area and I love the Tims. It's just around the corner. We've lived here for about six years now. And like I said, it's the same girls that have been at that Tim's window for six years. I think it's so important to not bypass the people that are in your lives every single day. And you know what? You might be happy to get your coffee and happy to get your groceries, but you know what? Smile to them, say hello. You know what? It doesn't, it's not gonna kill you to say a few words or smile to them. And you know what? You never know what kind of day they're having either. So I think we just all need to give each other a break and you just never know. And you know what? Next time, 
you're at a lineup. And I mean, I don't even know if I do this for me or if I'm doing it for others, but it feels so good. Pay it forward. I, it literally hits me. I'm in the lineup at the Tim's drive through and I feel it. I look at who's behind me and you know what? I'm not judging. I don't need to know who they are, but I look in them and I look in my rearview mirror and I think, you know what? Today, I'm getting that person's coffee or whatever it is that they ordered. And here's the thing. Don't think about the monetary value either. Because let me tell you, I've been shocked. I've been prepared to come up to the window and pay for the guy's coffee behind me. I'm thinking it's going to be a buck 80. It turns out he went and got coffee for the whole crew at the office. and It's like 20 bucks. Here's the thing. Even if you're on your last buck. Oh, they don't even make the dollar bill anymore, right? It's just the loonies. Even if you are low on cash, who's on with me? Dustin, hey, how's it going? Now we're talking about Tim's. Even if you're on your last dollar or it's always good to give it away rather than keep it. And I know that sounds crazy, but I live in a world of positive all the time. I live in a world where I am always giving, okay? I am in a world where I support others, dreams, goals, okay? So yes, if you're going through that drive through and you're scraping your quarters and your dimes for your coffee, scrape some more and pay for the guy behind you. Trust me, it is the most amazing feeling ever. Like I sometimes wonder, like, am I doing this for me? Hey, Ella, nice to see you, girl. I wonder, like, am I doing it for me? Am I doing it for them? I don't know, but it feels so good. The problem is, I drive around a logoed vehicle. So back before I drove a logoed vehicle, I could do it, you know, they didn't know who it was. But now I'm like speeding off and I hope that they're not gonna see the logos on my vehicle and oh man, cause I am not looking to get something back. And that's another thing. Don't give to get back, okay? Do it because you really, really wanna do it. And talk to strangers. I know that goes against everything that we live in right now, but you know what? We're getting a little too closed in into our own worlds. You know what I mean, right? You get so consumed in, you know, your job and like where you're going and you're in a hurry and you're driving and you don't even want to sometimes acknowledge the people around you. But trust me, you stop that one time and smile to that person that's running your groceries through or talk to that person that hands you your coffee at Tim's or Starbucks or where it is. I'm telling you. You could make that person's day. That is someone's daughter, son, mother, uncle, father, brother, neighbor. That is someone's relative. Think about it that way. What if it's your mom that's handing coffee at Tim Hortons? What if it's your dad that's running the groceries through at Sobeys? Okay. What if it's one of your kids and it's their first job? Wouldn't you want people to care and treat them so well? What is this? <laughs> the bubble we all live in in our bubbles. You're so right about that, Sean. We just get so closed in. You know what I mean? I don't experience that. I used to because I came from a corporate environment. I wore suits to work. I had my briefcase. I was in HR. And you know what? I was closed in. I mean, now that I've been in this industry for... 10 years in the health and fitness and helping people move forward and feel good about themselves and, and get on track mentally and physically and emotionally and spiritually because I'm a life coach as well. And I just think it's so amazing. And so I haven't been sort of stuck in my own world because I'm always out there helping others. Right. And so I just want those of you that maybe haven't been acknowledging the strangers around you lately to acknowledge them. You know what? If you pull up at a stoplight, like, and I look over and I, you know, you look over and you see the person look back at you and you have that choice. You can nod, you can wave, you can smile. And isn't it, it feels so cool when they smile back because you've had that connection. I don't know if you've had it. I have it all the time. Um, my mom and my stepdad, they ride bikes, like motorcycles. Yes, I know. It's so cool. Um, I know we're kind of going off track here, but I like to do that. I like to keep going with, hey, Sheldon's on here. Hey, how's it going? Anne is here too. Um, who else is here? Oh, Sheldon says hi. Yeah, start writing comments there, guys. So I know you're there. Anyways, so my mom and my stepdad, they ride motorcycles. And so whenever I see somebody on the road in a motorcycle, I think, you know what? That could be my stepdad. That could be my mom. All right, we're going to thumbs up. Love this, love that. I'm going to start liking stuff here. So here's the thing. Whenever I see somebody on a motorcycle and I pull up a stoplight and I look over, 
And if I have my cap on, I kind of just do like a salute or like, a, you know, hey, I see you. I know you. I get it. You're on the bike. I think it's cool. And you know what? You kind of have that moment. So I just really, really, guys, I want you to talk to strangers. <laughs> you know what I mean? It takes a community to raise a child. That's what they used to say. I think it still does. I think it still does take a village. It takes a community to come together, to recognize we are all on the same journey. It's called life. We will all have the same experiences. We will all fall off somewhere along the lane, right? You will all have, you know, a death to deal with. There will be births. There will be deaths. There will be job loss. There will be new jobs. There will be moving into new homes. You know, there are so many experiences that we all have and we need to share them together. So next time you go through the drive through at Tim's or Starbucks, or next time you're in the grocery line at Walmart, turn around and say hi to the person behind you. <laughs> Who knows? You might have a great conversation. Or next time you're at the cashier, say, hey, how's your day going? You know what? It'll make you feel better. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm going for lunch because you know what? Check this out. The kids are waiting for me. Let's see if I can flip this around. There they are. You guys waiting patiently? No. They've been talking amongst themselves. Bye for now, guys.